Today I'll show you how to build a CRUD app on an SQL database in just five minutes. I'll also show you how to do the same process using another resource such as Airtable or Firebase. Let's jump on in. So the first thing to do is to log into Jet. You'll see all of your apps, and at the bottom of the page you'll see templates. Let's choose Admin Panel today, and then we have to choose our resource. I'm going to choose Postgres, and then I'll enter all my required information to connect it. Once you've entered your information and clicked Add Resource, you'll be shown a variety of layouts to choose from. In the Update Record section, there are three options. I'm going to choose the Modal option. Once I've chosen the layout that I want, I have to choose my collection. I only have one collection here, so it's chosen for me automatically, and it now has taken me to the Table fields. Here, I select the fields that I want included in my table, that is to say, in this part of the layout. Once I've chosen those, I hit Continue, and I have to choose my form fields, which is to say the fields that will be shown in the update form. Great, now that I've made my choices, I just hit apply template, and here we are. I also wanted to add that if you add a new page, you can go through this template process again. So even without doing anything else, my app is already fairly functional. If I select a row, a modal pops up that gives me the option to update it. Also, I can check boxes next to records to then delete them or export the data. However, I also want to add the ability to create a record, so I'll do that now. I click on the table, and then in the menu on the right, you'll see three tabs, General, Display, and Actions. I'm going to go to the Actions one, and at the bottom of that menu you'll see Header Actions. Here I'll click Add Action. Now, I need to choose what I want the action to be, in this case, run operation. Then I choose my resource, Postgres, and then I have a drop-down menu with my collections. If I hover over one of them, you can see the options create, update, and delete. I'm gonna choose create record. Now it says specify inputs. If I click on one, I can write an input in, choose a formula, or in this case, because I'm creating a record, choose ask user. All of these inputs are currently listed as optional. If I click on the word optional, I can make the inputs required. If this is all the functionality I need for my app, I can actually be done here. Let's test it out to make sure it works correctly, and then I'll show you some other things that you might want to do. So if I click here, I can create users. I can also check one or more boxes next to my records to delete or export their data. And if I click on one of the records, a modal pops up that allows me to update the information in it. This looks great and it's already working perfect. So one of the things that you might want to do is specify the fields that you want included. You can do this very easily. Simply click on the table and then the button to the right of the field name can be switched on or off to select or deselect that field. Another thing that you might want to do is add a new page for another collection from Postgres or another resource. I can do that very easily by going here and clicking new page. And then if I'm looking to add simply another page that does CRUD processes, I will just go through the same steps that I have already. Another thing that you might want to do is use another resource. You can do this in much the same way as we did with Postgres. Over here in the left hand menu, you can hover over the resources symbol to add a new resource or to look at your Postgres resource. So here's my data editor. Um, here I can see all of my collections. I only have one now, but I would be able to switch between them if I had more. And I can also manage my data however I want, creating records, updating them, deleting them, or exporting them even. To update a record here, all I do is click on the cell that I want to change and then enter a new value. I can also create a record using this button on the upper right, or delete records by selecting them, which also allows me to export their data. It's worth noting here that you can use the data editor without even creating an app, which can provide a lot of use value to you as a user. Building an admin panel to create, read, update, and delete records using Jet Admin is extremely easy and extremely quick. You can use Postgres or you can use, for example, Firebase or Airtable or any number of our more than 30 integrations. I've covered everything that I want to in this video, 
but I'll quickly add some other features to my app so you can see how that might be done. Great, let's take one more look at the final app. How easy was that? If you do have any more questions, take a look in the description. I've left a link to an article about this same topic, as well as to some of our documentation. Also, you can check out some of our other videos on YouTube. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.